Okay, so now we're doing number six from this list of problems. Number six tells us that the claim is that the mean is less than or equal to 73. Well, that would make it HO because of the equal sign, right? The equal sign always indicates HO, so we're going to say that the alternative hypothesis must be greater than 73. Again, less than or equal to is the HO, so it must be greater than 73 for HA so that we cover all the possible scenarios, right? All right, so now if that A is HA, then we draw the bell curve. And we know that because HA has a greater than symbol, we'll be dealing with a right-tailed test. Now, in number six, the alpha is 10%, right? Alpha is 10%. All that alpha will be put into one tail on the test. So what we're going to do is go to our t-table, go to the t-table, and look up alpha equals to 10% under infinity, right? Because infinity is where we keep the z-scores on the t-table. Remember that we just look up alpha because we have a one-tail test. If it was a two-tail test, we'd look up alpha divided by two. But in this case, we just look up alpha. Let's go to our t-table now and do that. Okay, so we're looking up 0.10. So we're looking at that column, the 0 0.10 column, and we're going all the way down until we see the last entry next to the symbol infinity. Okay, so we see that it's 1.282. 1 1.282. Okay, so we found our answer to be 1.282. Our critical value is 1.282. Okay, that's it.